Can you explain how a policymaker should think about why all of these ransomware attacks are, are using cryptocurrency? Yeah, look, what we saw this week in the Colonial Pipeline is a clear uh, demonstration that Bitcoin is not the currency of choice for criminals. The United Nation estimates that between 2 and 5 percent of global GDP, that's about $4 trillion, is connected to illicit activity and money laundering. Last year in 2020, less than 1 percent of all crypto transactions are less than $10 okay. billion. Dollars. But, but I, will tell you that I will tell you that 90 percent at least, and I, I'm making up the numbers, but of, of ransomware attacks, at least over the last several months, have used crypto. So we can talk about money laundering and other things, and I agree if you look at it in some kind of you know, uh, other way. But let's talk about the ransomware attacks on companies today. Yeah, and, and thank God they did, because the DOJ was able to track and trace those transactions. <laughs> And ultimately, are, ha, we're able to seize that money and are putting a stop to this. What if they had used fiat? What if they used paper money or an analog channel? Do you think we would be where we are today? Absolutely not. I don't Bitcoin think we'd be where we are today because I don't think you'd be able to carry enough briefcases of cash to do it. Less than 1% of all illicit transactions are associated with cryptocurrency. That is the fact. According to who? According to who? The United, if you if you do chain analysis, if you look at uh, uh, the, the actual transactions facilitated on uh, cryptocurrency networks, less than one percent are, are are associated with illicit activity. That comes and what from percentage studies. of ransomware attacks are, are associated with cryptocurrency? Less than one percent of all illicit activity is associated with cryptocurrency. Okay. This is you not. Know, we, can, we can define these numbers however you like, but I think we're moving the goalposts as we're having the conversation. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.